Um, should take a roofie. <laughs> should take. We were talking about roofies before the podcast began. Just how like, you know. You know, just normal boy talk. <laughs> yeah. Just locker room talk. <laughs> yeah, guys. There were dabblers and roofies. <laughs> Girls locker room versus boys locker room. I can just talk about roofies. Yeah, he's like, Betty, does my ass look big? And the guys are like, yo, quaaludes? Or should we do like... <laughs> <laughs> what do quaaludes feel like? Apparently really good. Apparently sick. Apparently they're not... Like, they don't make them anymore because there's yeah. like other drugs that are like even better than them now. And like cheaper are. to make. But I swear nothing hits like a good quaalude apparently. Mm. Quaaludes. What a fucking name for a drug. Quaaludes. Why well, I had to make it sound so cool. Yeah, it's a like quaalude, man. Yeah, bro. I'm just going to pop the a couple of quaaludes. Yeah. Now, it's like, now it's like, oh, I'm going to pop a Zan. It's like, what are you... Are you fucking Zoomer? Are you Zoomer? fucking SoundCloud rapper? Get out of here with your Zans. Fucking Zans. Dude. dude. Man. 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 Like, I don't really want a Quaalude right now. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to live with you. I want to watch a Quaalude and watch a Land Before Time. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a night with the boys, dude. Yo, Quaaludes, Land Before Time. Yeah, bro. Get a six-pack, watch Titanic. Fuck yeah. And jerk off later. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's desperate times, man. We're locked up. COVID. Locked yeah. up in COVID. Yeah. What else are you going to do, man? Options are low. Options are limited. Options are limited. Fuck, man. I almost fell in love with Uber Eats driver the other day. Did you? Yeah, it was like first human contact in a week. Mm. How'd it go? Oh, well. No. <laughs> like pepper sprayed, but oh, you know, I drive. Enough. Yeah. Oh, dude, you, I swear it's weird. You can almost see it in people's eyes, like just like when you run into people. Yeah. Now they're just like, they, they want to talk to you and socialize just from being locked up now. I, I never get yeah. that. Uber Eats drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Uber Eats drivers are really starting to like fucking annoy the shit out of me. <laughs> they're, so they're doing God's work. You know, I, when I fucking say leave oh. at door, oh, no, I agree with them. fucking yeah, yeah. leave it at the door. Put it down. Yeah, they're standing there fucking holding it for you and shit. Put it so. down, knock on the door, fucking turn around, take your dumb picture, and go. You know what it is, though? I think the reason that they don't just leave it at the door is because people would like just say they get scammed i think or like or maybe occasionally they get the wrong the address wrong well yeah that's why they take the picture i feel like they're trying to do it just to be nice so you like rate them up on delivery but really they're just being counterintuitive you guys can criticize uber eats drivers all you like but i have the loveliest man who delivers my uh breakfast almost every day like i somehow get the same guy and he's this like <laughs> nice he's a sweet old indian man he's got a very like loving face kind eyes a nice bushy mustache and he goes hello cam like that and Aww. he leaves my bag on top of my little like little wall above my gate he goes have a good day like that and i'm like thank so you, nice. oh, I love you i see him a few times a week he's my favorite i tip him that's cool yeah you know the, the fucking last experience I had was the guy that fucking spammed my doorbell and broke the intercom when, when, <laughs> when you when you and I Mason were over. Oh, yeah. Broke yeah. his doorbell. It was just going like, k -k 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 for fucking hours. I was I was so fucking mad. How'd you fix that problem? I I asked my realtor, uh, "Can you come over and fix it, please?" And he said, "Sure." And then he came around and he was like, "I have no idea how to fix this." And then he messaged the uh, the actual landlord. They said, "Yeah, just rip it off the wall." <laughs> and uh, and he was rip like, "The console off." Yeah, and he the was fuck? like, "What? How?" They were like, "Just push it in and up," and it literally slid off the wall. And he and he was like, "Okay, now what do I do?" And he's like, "Um, well, there's, there's no off switch, right?" He's like, "No." He was all right. We just rip the wires out. So we just fuck. Really? Pop the wires out of the back and put it back on. I actually have a guy coming to Monday to like <laughs> fix it, but I really don't care. I don't know. I'm fucking moving out of there in a couple of months. Who fucking cares? I don't even use it. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. My house is big and nice, but man, it's a piece of shit. I don't know how half of it works. Why is it? Why I didn't, is I that? Didn't, Every I didn't, house is like that. I, I didn't know. Fancy world world. Complaint I didn't, I didn't know I had I had heated floors until what? like until like four months in when I was like, why are my floors so warm? And and, and I was like, oh. Oh, they're, they're heated. <laughs> and then I figured it out. And you don't notice that. And I don't know. Maybe it was why my fucking uh, electricity bill was a thousand a month. Jesus, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty Yeah, wasn't it Misfits? Wasn't it fucking nuts there, too? Oh, no, it wasn't because we had no heating. Oh, that's right. We had no hot water. Yeah, we the had no hot water and no and heating. We had a gas bill of zero dollars <laughs> for a month. And a pool with a dead bird in it. Yeah, yeah, a pool with a dead bird in it. <laughs> Eventually turned green. Yeah, and then it brown, turned green a bunch of green times. Again. Remember when we swam in it three times? <laughs> we had it for that a year. That was it, yeah. You guys haven't been the same since. No. <laughs> no. Soon, soon, we'll swim more. So you have to wait. Bro, why is every summer. fancy house yeah. like that? Like, they look nice, but really they're shit and they break all the time. Like, the pool has never worked at any house we've had. It's because rich people have money to spend, so why not make everything counterintuitive and make sure that everything breaks down as frequently as possible so that you have to shell out more money for for more repairs? Yeah, they which... get that constant dopamine hit of spending money. Yeah, there you go. I guess so. Oh, man, what a conspiracy theory that is. Yeah. Mm.